Ishimori had the better tournament. Oh, and wait a minute. Katamaro blasting from behind. That's his opponent. Blew him out of his feathers. Attacking the Bone Soldier Reborn. Coming through the aisle. Certainly no love lost between Ishimori and Katamaru going back to their days in Noah. And here in New Japan, they have battled over the junior heavyweight tag team titles quite frequently. So here we go. Man, oh man, a fast start, but Ishimori is able to turn things around and put the boots to Kanemaru, who rolls back, gets rolled back into the ring. Just some incredible bouts over the GHC Junior Heavyweight Championship when they were in NOAA. And now the Irish whip, and reversed. Ishimori just so fast. How do you find him? Standing senton, no. Kanemaru ducks. Thought he could have been going for La Mystica, but he'll get back on that arm. Because Kanemaru avoided La Mystica, he was able to roll out of an attempted yes lock or perhaps the bone lock. The two varieties of arm submission. And as Ishimori comes charging at him, Kanemaru makes him pay. Veteran wrestling intelligence. Kanemaru has it. And he's given Ishimori a trip around the barricade. Uh oh, wait a minute. Reversed up on the shoulders. The strength of Ishimori puts the brakes on here. And a hot shot, throat first. Across the barricade. Shades of Eddie Gilbert from Taji Ishimori. Fast start to this one with Kanemaru attacking Ishimori. All right, who's going to answer the bell here? Who's going to get in before 20? And both dive in at 19. Kanemaru having to take a much more labored approach. And no sense in Ishimori rushing to get back in. Double knees. The power of Ishimori gets him to the arm. 